Hey, welcome to German Tesla. We're going to do a quick video of the updated items in the uh, user interface um, since the December uh, software update. So it's been out for a while. There's been a couple of things in my videos um, where I've showed off some of these things, such as the visualization and things like that. Um, but you can go ahead and um, take a look at it. This is just kind of all the new things in the December update and anything that's been updated, um, you know, since then has been just, you know, little minor things. There hasn't been any real big updates since December. It's actually one of the longest amount of times since they've done a, a big update um, since I've owned the car because I've, I've had a lot of updates it actually makes the car better. And um, everything else has been just kind of like little detailed things uh, to make li little small adjustments to make things better, right? So, um, yeah, so uh, take a look at it, and don't forget to hit that um, that like and subscribe button. All right, thanks a lot. The new thing here in Autopilot is going to be the full self-driving visualization, which I'll show you some images of that. Road signs and trucks. Words on the ground. Stoplights. Stop sign coming up. And sure enough, it shows it on the screen. Something new in the entertainment. So we already had we already had Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and Tesla tutorials. But recently in December we got a new one for Twitch. Twitch is a online streaming for games. So what you can see here is you have different people that are streaming video games online. And you can watch them right here. It's a very popular website and app on other platforms. One thing about Twitch is that you can actually seem to log in to your Twitch account and look at your followed people, which I'm not a big fan of that. Also, new to the arcade tab um, we have Stardew Valley I'll show you a picture of Stardew Valley playing and then we have Backgammon you know the I had a Backgammon um, game when I was little it was a very old one and I never learned how to actually play it so apparently you can play against Tesla you can play against another passenger or driver, okay, so that's if you want to pick that. But you can play that, and then you play the game, I guess you roll, and... Ah. I'm not real sure what you do here. Anyways, who cares? <laughs> um, and then the rest of the games are the same as they were. Another new thing that's come to um, the Tesla update in December is tracks. So, with tracks, um... You basically can create different things of music. And you can... You can add things, drums, um, oh wow, A low floor tam. I suck at this. <laughs> uh, others, um, trombone, cow, what? Whistle, a wood block, no way. Come on, Betty. Found it now. Add drums, electric snare, cymbals, 
Ride bell, ride symbol. Maracas, no way. Reminds me of a uh, mailman. Something else that's new here in the um, in the climate area. Now you have up here. You have um, dog mode. You have climate on. Climate will stay on after you leave the car. Will turn off when it reaches twenty percent. Dog mode. It will present the screen. Or you have camp mode now. So camp mode, the car will stay on until battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode, security alarm, and walk away lock will be disabled. Cool thing in camp mode. Uh, because now I can just leave and the car won't lock. And so I can leave and, yeah, it won't beep and all that stuff if you're out at the campground or something like that. It's a nice mode. Another thing you could use camp mode for... Uh, would be if you're washing your car, for example, something like that. It would make it easy to, um, you know, leave the music playing inside. It won't lock the doors. So if you need to open, if you're vacuuming your car or something, you walk away. It's not going to automatically lock. So um, camp mode's kind of something that people have been asking for a lot. A lot of situations why you would need that. That's about everything for the updates inside the car. They added one pedal driving, so if we go driving, uh, you now have um, hold mode, which maximizes the range by extending regenerative braking lower speeds and automatically blends in the brakes to hold the vehicle at a stop. So what that does is um, you basically never put your foot on the brake when your regenerative braking is maxed out. Um, it's... Uh, it's super nice to use. Once you use it, you really end up really loving it. I hardly ever touch the brakes when I drive my car, really. Um, it uses regenerative braking to slow it down a lot, and um, it just seems to work really well, and then it will bring the car to a stop. Um, you just kind of get used to when to let off the brake, and I mean the gas pedal, and how much, how much gas pedal or accelerator to actually percentage to put in works really well. Okay, thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw, maybe learned something. If not, that's all right. Um, if there's anything you would like to see, leave a comment and I love to get back to the comments and um, talk to people as well as uh, please uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, if you didn't, that's all right. Um, you know, leave a comment and let me know um, any improvements. And then also um, please subscribe. Liking and subscribing, completely free to you, and it helps the channel a lot and gets the videos out to more people. And so um, it helps me out a lot, helps the channel out a lot. Also, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, in the description below, you'll see my referral link. You don't have to use it, but if you do, you will get a 1,000 free supercharging miles as well as I. And um, you just click that link and order your car through that, that link. All right, thanks again, and we'll see you next time.